if you tell me that you have never seen a base loading error something like this or this then you are an alien or a liar according to google analytics the average base loading time in desktop is seven seconds and for mobile devices it could be as bad as 15 seconds now what actually we are getting for a site and for an average website we are loading 1.6 megabyte of resources with 95 different requests to the server and if we look into the type of resources image is the highest content and it is 61 percent of everything we are loading in the browser this video is how we can reduce the amount of kilobyte of images we are downloading to view a website the very first thing you can do is to compress the images if you reduce the size of the images then you have to load less resources there are tons of free software and websites to reduce the image size and one of them is jpeg optimize you can search for all of these here and if you go there they have some example here and you can hardly tell the difference of this image and this image but you see this is 86 percent less in terms of file size and you can go a little more and it could be 95 percent which is 3 kb of image size instead of loading 70 kb the second thing you can do is to combine images if you have multiple images and if you combine them together you only need one single request to get all the images and this technology is called a sprite and one of the example of a sprite is in youtube and when i look into this this looks like a mass of icon to me and my first question is how the hell this thing work and the answer to this question is they just have one single background image and define a position so they have this opening for example 20 pixel by 20 pixel and tell you that from left it is for example 200 pixel and from top 200 pixel so it has this background image and you can see only this portion to like a video if you click this video they have exactly same background image just they change the location of the image now in the left is zero pixel from top maybe 300 pixel but you see completely different icon for your thumbs up now if you are a stupid guy like me you will ask me how i will create this mess of icon the answer is very simple there are tons of free tools sprite jam if we go to this sprite jam and they have something to upload images so these are the icons i want to make a sprite i select all and they upload everything when i call this create sprite and then it will create all these icon together and give you a background image and if you need to generate css you don't have to work hard they will create css and this thing work is like for all the different classes name this is accordingly to the image name they define the background position and the width and height of the image and every single class has the one background image which they defined is a tmp.png you can change it later the third thing you can do you can cache the images and you can cache in the browser that means browser will keep a local copy of the images so whenever the images is requested then it will not go to the server and ask for the resources it will serve the images from the cached images if you change the images then browser and the server will have the contract to serve the latest image other than serving the old image and second thing about caching you can do is called cdn or content delivery network if you have a user from india and this comes to the server at usa you put another server content server or s server in singapore and so when the first time the user requests for some website it comes to usa and get the resources and serve to the user but second time if the user asks for the same website it doesn't comes all the way to usa it comes to the singapore and serve the request and if the request from china comes through the singapore cdn then it doesn't have to travel to us server it just gets served from singapore and number four you can do is asynchronous image loader 
That means you will load the image asynchronously other than blocking it at the time of page loading. Because we don't need to load 1000 crappy images you uploaded in the Facebook at the time of page loading. We can just asynchronously get those images when you click to the album and start viewing the images. Number five is to use font as an icon. There are tons of open source for this and if you go to this guy font awesome, this guy created icon by using font and you will find all the icons used in bootstrap. Now you are only loading a font file other than loading a bunch of icons you needed. CSS Tricks has like more option to customize. You can customize the font size. You can customize different colors, shapes, and a lot of things to get your customized font as an icon. Number six is you can create icon by using pure CSS. So you would be only loading a CSS file other than extra icons or font, whatever you needed. And here is a list of stuff you can create from CSS and they are very simple list of the things you needed and this could be a little crazy something like egg, Pac-Man or you can do crazy stuff with this and if you have some spare time in the weekend you can create like this dude some icon completely made of CSS and he can do some git and number seven is you can use WebP. This is supported in Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. And this gives you more compression than JPEG and PNG and also support transparency. Number eight you can do is parallel download. And if you have to download thousands of images like maps, like Google map, then you can use subdomain because every browser can have six to eight connection to a server at the same time in that case if you use subdomain like google map does then you can have more parallel download at the same time remember this would be a good use case when you have to download thousands of images don't do it when you just have to download one or two image number nine is free fetch and this is a good use case for picasa what they did when you are viewing an album, they don't download every single image in the album. Rather, when you are viewing an image, they start downloading the next image. So that when you click the next image, the next image is already downloaded and ready to view. For mobile devices especially, you can think about alternative of images like using drop shadow, gradient fill, and Bootstrap 3 did an excellent job where the rendering time is improved significantly when they're using some CSS properties to create shapes for buttons. And for mobile devices, if you are crazy, you can use data URI, that is the content of image in an element tag, so that your image is loaded with the content itself, or you can do something called SBZ. That is scalable vector graphics that will create the icon itself and you can resize the image without losing the precision of the image. These are the 11 different things you can do to reduce the content of image you are downloading for a website.